Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm really honoured to be here. I look a bit skew with because I have been trying to get things organised. This is the first time I'm on a beautiful uh, cyber uh, fair and I'm Dutch so I speak two languages. Hello iedereen, als je ook Nederlands praat, I'm just saying hello in Dutch and I'm wearing my magnet um, and it's really turning out great stuff and I've got my magnets on my thumb but I'm going to talk uh, about the Lenormand. Um, I've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks so far and I'm still collecting them because I'm totally um, googa about them and I hope you can see me. I don't know. I will just have to wait and see whether anybody can see me. I am live. So let's have a look. Good, uh, good day, um, good day, everyone, everyone. Uh, uh, good middag. Good middag. Leuk dat je er bent. I hope you can see me. Can anybody see me? Can anybody see me? I don't know who can see me. This is the first time I'm going out. So if you can see me, please come in. Life, life, I am life. I don't know what is happening here. Okay, can anybody see me? Can anybody see me? It's a pity. I hope that you can see me and I will start off anyway. I'm going to talk about the Lenormand. This was my first deck and you can see how tattered it is. It is uh, the first that I've had and it is the um, Lenormand game. It was only three euros ninety and this is what uh, must be 20 odd years ago because in 2001 the, uh, the euro came out and this was my first. This is actually my second deck because the first deck got tethered. This is the mountain and that means overcoming problems or not making mountains out of molehills. You can also take the path. You don't have to climb the mountain. Okay, I'm just going to go through them very quickly as they are not in order. Um, these are the birds and in this old deck you get a little verse and that is what helped me to start off with and you also get the numerology, the number of the card and you get the cartomancy. So that's like the normal playing cards. Except in the Lenormand, the uh, one uh, to five is the uh, cards of the playing cards are taken out. So you can take an ordinary deck of cards and use it as the cartomancy. Okay, well, there's nobody coming in, so I hope you can see me. Uh, this is the child uh, birth or the child birth of new things, be more playful, um, new beginnings, learning things in a playful way, the scythe, cutting with the past, okay, making a new path to the future, harvesting harvesting knowledge and life experience and you've got the page of diamonds or pentacles there you go and that is number 10 then you have the sun the sun is also new beginnings a spotlight like the moon and the star the ace of pentacles and then you've got the numerology 31 which becomes a four proper foundations productivity New beginnings, new job, new home, something with durability and long term and lasting. Also birth, fertility, when the sun is out, 
fertile. Also, you can, with some of the, the, the cards, you can get also the zodiac sign. This would be Leo. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, that could be a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus. Then we have the Messenger from the Lenormand. That's the picture. Number one, New Beginnings. Then you have the um, Nine of uh, Hearts, which is the Nine of Cups. Wishes and goals coming true. Again, that little poem. This helps you. In those days, about 20, 25 years ago, um, you didn't have books. I'll flip that's the lily. That's the boat coming in. Your abundance. Could be money. Could be travel. Could be moving home. The snake. Be careful of the snake in the grass or slithery, slimy people. Okay. Uh, the, cl the clover. Good luck. You might be reminiscing about the past memories, experiences. The Six of Diamonds. Well, that's the Six of Pentacles. Number two of the Lenormand, Balance. Then you've got the Fish. Good luck. Good luck. Luck in business. Luck at work. Know your boundaries. Know your boundaries. Let others know your boundaries as well as fish don't know their boundaries. This is the Page of Pentacles. There are no knights in the Lenormand. I'm sorry, I just have to see whether that's Nadine because this is the first time I'm live. And uh, I don't know whether anybody can see me. So please come in. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I think it might be taping. I don't know what to there is a logbook. I'm not seeing anything. Life event. Sorry, guys. This is the first time I'm um, live and I'm not seeing anybody coming in. So please join me if you uh, can see me. Ah, we've got Jess Jill. Hiya. I'm doing the Lenormand and I'm just going through the cards. So I'll just carry on and I'll be back tonight as well. Uh, it is in the timetable. This is the garden, gatherings, meetings, uh, presentations, uh, celebrations, reunion. I'm just flipping through the Lenormand and I'll do the cartomancy in a minute. The dog, friendship, loyal friendship, a trustworthy friendship, luck and luck. Um, the heart, love and passion, new love or a new passion. This could be with a person or with something that you do. The stars um, means a wish or a goal is coming true. You've navigated your way with, by the stars. The key, the key means you hold the key that you can open doors to positivity or close doors to negativity. I'm not receiving any uh, messages from the Dean, so I hope everything is going right. And we've got the ring. The ring means um, uh, partnerships in love or perhaps marriage or in work, in business, the ace of um Clover, so that's the Ace of Wands, number 25, so that becomes a number 22, that's the numerology side, so seven, sorry, two and five is seven, is luck. Now, the tower in Lenemon is um, not the same as in the tarot. The tower in Lenemon means remember, uh, you are ambitious. Whilst you are climbing up to the top, don't forget the people that support you and that you love and they love you. Um, so, you know, um, remember, remember the people that love you because when you reach the top, then it can become very lonely. This is 9 and 1, 19 is uh, 10, so an ending new beginnings, the six of states, the six of swords. Then we have the moon. The moon means, uh, of course, a spotlight, things that you don't know because it's also got a dark side. Um, and the, follow the light on the path as the moon gives you light to find your way. It is also sometimes, I reckon this is like Pisces, 
um, because Pisces is very sensitive and stands for the moon. And the moon is also, um, there are things you don't know, mysteries, secrets, uh, lots and lots more. It all depends what cards are next to it. The crossroads, the road, the path, the crossroads. Make choices or decisions. That is the Queen of Pentacles, number 22, an angel number. So I'm um, sorry, I don't know why everybody's keeping sending me messages. I have to get used to this because it's the first time today and I'm absolutely loving it. I also do have a YouTube channel and I go live three times a week. So I am used to uh, going live the book. That means secrets or perhaps a new study because books used to have um, uh, locks on them, so uh, have locks on them, and that's why they are secrets. Okay, let me just get the, um, sorry about all the okays, but um, life and soul. Okay, I am only being given the option to share in Messenger, not in Facebook. Sorry, that's not a message for me. Okay, and we've got the anchor. The anchor means definitely, yes, you're coming home to a safe haven. You've slung your hook and you are going to stay there. Also, you have the nine of spades. That's the nine of swords and number 35 is eight. The house of power and money, inheritance, inheritance, um, the bouquet or uh, or the, the, the bouquet of flowers in this old-fashioned deck. It's called the smeller. Smell the scent of roses. Somebody might, or flowers, you might be coming in uh, uh, to receiving a little gift. Uh, you might be getting a visitor. Wow, and good luck. The birds, or the letter in this, uh, sorry, there is a card called the birds. Then we have the letter. News, official news, as we have the official scene, or seal. Sorry about my English, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, because I've got a very short time slot, and I would love to stay here longer. Here you are, you've got the nine of diamonds, the nine of pentacles, leaving a face. A nine is an ending, That where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You're going into a new phase, and you've got the coffin, where well, we all know we, it is not a real death. The death is only a transformation from one phase to the next. You're no longer the caterpillar, you are the butterfly. Then we have the tree. The tree is seven of cups, the seven of hearts. So it could be dreams or goals you're dreaming about. So make a priority list, the pros and cons. Take the first one that could come into reality and into the material world and so longer. So it won't be an idea or a dream anymore. Okay, and take that. That will motivate you to carry on to the next. This is card number five, so you might be out of balance. The tree also means health, family tree, roots, um, money coming in and needing space. Go out into nature. These are just very short, brief messages, but you can see so much more and different in every single deck. So long you know the basic meanings of the Lenaman, then you can uh, see, add on to your own, through your own intuition. You've got the bear. The bear means there might be somebody jealous. Uh, uh, of you. You can stand your ground. You protect everything that you love and um, care about. Like the bear, the mama bear, she always takes care of her cubs and her home. And good luck is on your side. In some cards, you see a castle or a tower, then it means that you might get help from institutions. Okay. And then we go on to the man. Well, we all know what the man means. That's the ace of hearts. So this could be cancer, um, but it could also be anybody because the it could also be Scorpio or Pisces as it is an ace. But the man means be steadfast, masculine. So even if it is a woman, uh, that would be that her masculine side might be prominent uh, coming out at that time when you do the reading. 
or if you take, uh, pull a day card and that's number 29 or 28, I think it's 28, yes. So that's a 10 and that becomes a 1. The broom, like clearing away old rubbish, okay. They used to use brooms to sweep away dirty water, let it pass your door by. Okay, it also means arguments and disagreements. I'm not going into the numerology too much. The woman is 29, so that's an 11. That's an important number to me because that's number 11 and that's an angel number. Ladylike, even if you uh, could be about a man. Because the cards, I love this about the cards. They're not racist, they're not sexist, nothing like that. They are neutral, and, but they do have lots of meanings. So could, you could be meeting a lady, but you could also be meeting a nurturing, caring, loving, tender, ten, tender man. Like the feminine side comes out. The house, the house means protection. Safety, you might be buying a house, but it could also mean that you are isolating yourself and you're not coming out of your comfort zone. So go out there and mingle and be the beacon and make new friends, be the magnet. We've got the stalk, that means a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation, um, a birth. This could also be moving home. Okay, then we have the cross. The cross means um, that that you might not have faith or trust within yourself, but others do. So come out of your head. Don't be depressed. Come into action. Number 36, which is a nine, and that's the last card in the uh, deck as the uh, Lenormand exists out of 36 cards. Then we've got the mice. That means uh, theft or loss. But in the years that I've been doing it, I also see other things. Something might be gnawing at you. If you are too stressed or busy, ask for help. Many hands make light work. That's just some of the cards in my oldest deck. Now I've got this beautiful, I'm getting goosebumps because I know he's here, and Giro Manchetti. He is an Italian artist, and this is the Gilded Referee Lenemann. And if you want to see it again, then again, you can go to YouTube, and I've done reviews on a lots of decks. And here we have the house again. This deck is extended. That means that it's not 36, but there are 47 cards in this deck. And the modern decks are extended, so a lot of people uh, can get more information. And uh, it's modernized. The clocks, that's also extended. Then you have all the elements. Then you don't have the uh, cartomancy card. So time is of essence. This could be a deadline or take your time. Then we've got the messenger, visitor or going to visit, news, new beginning, nine of cups. We've got the magnifying glass, also an add on. We've got number 44, which is an angel's number. Um, look closely when signing contracts. You need to look closely, need a magnifying glass or put your glasses on. <laughs> or if you are going on a journey, look at the maps, look at your itinerary carefully, check and recheck, double check. Again, an add-on, so you've got the four new signs here, okay? Um, then we've got the birds. Now, sorry about that, the birds usually look like uh, robins. Let's have a look if I can find them very quickly. Um, but these are the owls, and the owls me uh, are wise. We all know that we regard the owls as wisdom. So that could be the wisdom is like in the tarot with the air signs, um, judicial situations or institutions, municipalities. So you could get official news. This is the other card. That's the double of this. If you get this, then it's the old fashioned card. But the birds mean what means news. Be careful of gossip um, because they sit together in groups, but you can see one flying away on each card. So that means that somebody could leave the coop or leave the group. That's my definition. Okay, and you've got the anchor again. 
uh, I'm just flipping through. This is the clouds. Um, after rain comes sunshine, as they represent arguments. The boat, the, your a boat of abundance is coming in travel. But in this, here you can see it is depicted above the mountains, so the, um, that you are above problems. There's no problems to be seen. The mice, the moon, the mountain, the bouquet, and this is one of the new ones, the bridge, over bridging gaps. Perhaps you might be a mediator, bringing two people together, being the bridge for two people to reconciliate. You've crossed a lot of bridges. There we go. Then we've got the Limbrif. That's also a new one. You don't know where you're going. Don't shy away to ask your way, uh, ask help from people around you so you can get to your goal. Okay, then we've got the dice. Gamble. Take a gamble, but don't go mad. Don't go to the casino. The gamble can be turning up on a, a friend's doorstep without making an appointment. You've got the garden, reunion, meetings, gatherings, networking in the modern day sense. Mo um, Networking with, if you're doing in multi-level marketing, for example, or just um, getting to know people, passing on your details for business. Um, also, we've got the compass. You're, you follow your north note. You're on the right path. Then we have the lady, and we've got two of them, the two men and two ladies. One has a bare chest, and that means that she is not scared. She's open. She's got no secrets, and she's more of an active lady. And then you have, sorry, then you have the old-fashioned old-fashioned lady she's waiting for love and dreaming this lady knows what she wants and she also wears the star or the sign of venus of love okay um that is that then we've also got the two men this is the old-fashioned man and this is the new man and he wears the symbol of masculinity and mass and I won't go into the cartomancy. Um, if you would like to know more about it, then go to Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and there look under reviews. This is the tree and this is the modern way. There you are, you've got like the clans and some people also regard this as the chakras. And you've got the rainbow. Heaven and earth are connected. You're, you are there and you've put your roots down. That's what the tree also means. I, you can see the robins. That's my favorite bird. Now, I don't know whether you know the story, but the robin became a robin when an ordinary bird landed on the shoulder of Jesus. And a drop of blood fell from the crown onto his chest. And ever since then, they are known as robins and that's why they have the red chest then you've got the lily luck at work luck in business seeking advice from a mature man this could be a father figure or a professional like a bookkeeper an advocate or a doctor anything like that but the angels have your back yes i work with the angels and the angels have chosen me as a channel and i'm really blessed to be chosen as a channeling for the angels so they have your back your protected luck then you've got the dog again Trust and loyal, uh, loyal friend, luck on your side. Then you've got the cross, come out of your head, don't get depressed, don't mull around, don't let anything gnaw, take action, make a choice or a decision. Then you've got the mask, this is also a new card in this extended deck from Hiro Manchetti. And are you wearing a mask or be careful of people that wear a mask and aren't true. Then you've got the stalk, I've just told you what the meaning is of the stalk. And here we've got the snake, watch out, He's, this snake is hanging in the tree with the forbidden fruit of the Garden of Eden. Okay, then we have the child. 
And then we have the clover. See how beautiful they are, and yet they have are look the same um, as in the old deck, but yet a little bit more more luxurious and voluptuous. The letter official officiality could be official news or just normal news because of the seal. Then we've got the broom and whip, arguments and disagreements. The fish again, know your boundaries, luck at work or in business. This is an extended card um, and this is the wishing well. But you also, the bucket has to go really down very deep to scoop up a bit of water. So you might have to dig deep to get information. Then you've got the key, you hold the key. Open the door to positivity and close the door to negativity. And it's nearly time to go. Okay, you can do that with everything. Love, work, positivity, good energy, staying away, business, um, business partnerships, in love or business, the ring, the bear. And there we've got the scythe again. And then we've got, and here with the bear, you can see you've got the tower the ice tower. So municipalities or institutions like grants or uh, banks or doctors or hospitals. Anyway, um, I'll get back again tonight for a second run and I will go into other decks. And uh, if there's any time left, I hope to do some free readings and pull some cards. And that is the tower. Then we have the staircase instead of the crossroads, um, a modern way of depicting it and the star and the heart of love so i have to i'm just uh, got three more cards the coffin the sarcophagus the fox remember the foxes sly be careful of sly people but somebody might have an eye on you that's the negative side the positive side is somebody might have an eye on you because he also stands for work or um, career so cross your T's, dot your I's, because this could mean that your boss is keeping an eye on you, on how you work. So it could mean a promotion. And the book, there you are. You've got the, the lock on the book. And also it is time to open the book and get to know the secrets. Well, I'm Charlie's Angel. Shah, people call me Shah. So please join me in... Uh, on Facebook uh, under the same name. Just click on my pictogram and it will take you to Facebook. I've also got a new page, Charlie's Angel Crowd, and I'm going to do loads of new things in the autumn. So I have to just check the time. I'm up till two o'clock and then um, I have to go. Okay, I'm too late as it is and somebody else is in the row. Take care, God bless, and I hope to see you later. Ciao, ciao. Hi, everybody. I'm Shah again, and I'm just going to flip through some of the decks because I would like to offer free cards. So this is one of the other decks, the Maybe deck, and you get a little book and also descriptions of the cards these are 52 cards and they're quite simple they're black and slight colored black and red i would say and i'm just going to flip through a couple so that you can see the difference okay now i'm also going to the mirror truth deck and that is a voluptuous deck a very rich box and um, they are absolutely gorgeous and you also get a small book with it sorry and the pictures are black and white so if anybody can see me you can see all these three uh, decks back in, in uh, the life on youtube or rather in the reviews on the playlists reviews on youtube and they are from shifer they're from Shiver Publishers, a red feather. Okay, if you go to Shiver, then look at the catalogue. These are also glossy. So I just want to do three pictures. And then also this one, I've got the Enchanted. The Enchanted, I'm allowed to stay a little bit longer, but I would love to give as many people um, as possible 
uh, a free card and I do that on Monday, Wednesday and Friday on YouTube as well and if you're a YouTube goer these are colourful though I don't know, yeah I've got the webcam, sorry I've got two cameras going here so there you are and these are lovely as well <clears throat> they're smaller than the most of the uh, Lenormand cards well there you are, I'm on in the air and they're flying everywhere <laughs> And they look like you've got a crystal ball. And these are just like 3, 4D. You've got the anchor, but you've also got a mermaid. And I use these cards quite a lot. And I only recently um, noticed that that was a mermaid in the card. So you can see a lot more, but you can look at them and stare at them. There you go. Hang on. Uh, this is all new for me. And uh, let me have a look at who's talking to me. Let me have a look. Ah, oh, Nadine. It's not Nadine. It's somebody else. Sorry about that. And that's the fox. Well, you know, a fox, he sheds his hair, but not his tricks. And that's the letter. So this is rather nice because I also like Wiccan stuff and pagan stuff, witchery stuff. So that's the crystal ball. I do work with a crystal ball. Um, I do love my cards. But you've, in this deck is also extended and you've got um, a gypsy there or the fortune teller. So you can put that in your reading and in a, a grant tableau. There's different readings from one card to three cards to uh, nine cards and I do nine card readings. And I usually mix the decks when I do a reading. You can see this back. <clears throat> on the um, on YouTube uh, because I use them and this is one of my quirkiest and funniest and that's but the House of Shadows by Monica Bodersky and she's got an amazing deck and that's the shadows so I use the tarot together with the, that's this one the shadow lands and I think it's absolutely, that's my favorite deck at the moment, besides this quirky Lenemon. And this, if you like the Adams family, then you will like this deck. It has also got a bit of Wicca in it, like um, the voodoo doll and the hand, because mediums do read hands as well. I read feet. <laughs> um, yes, I'm quirky. I'm a typical Gemini, the cross, and I, I just love these. She uses animals as well. She uses animals, the fish, and let's have a look. The moon, the moon, also very pagan, wearing a mask. That's the side, dark side of the moon. The sun, that's like somebody's holding onto the sun, like a balloon. It's nice for the Halloween party to dress up a balloon, that's the lady, that's the man, and this deck is also extended from 36 to um, uh, 42. I'm going to use the Titanius deck, that's very clear to see on live video, and you do get, a, like a, it looks like a book, and it's pink, and it's like that. And then you get to see the pictures and what they mean. And it's quite an extensive, it even goes extensively into each card. So now I'm going to do free cards. So hi Christine, hi Anita, hi Claire, hi Loretta. Nice to see all of you. And I hope that has enlightened you or motivated you to work with the Lenormand and they were uh, made by Marie-Louise Lenormand and she was at the court of Napoleon after incantation and Napoleon wanted his fortune told before he went to battle. So let's get started, please come back in the chat and then I can give you free cards like I do on life in YouTube as well. I'll start off with Georgina, 
Georgina, you've got the garden, so that means that you might be going to presentations or gatherings, parties or celebrations, um, because the gardens were used to come together and introduce people, do networking, but somebody could be coming from back from the past. There could also be a reunion. Nadine, hi Nadine, thank you very much Nadine uh, for organising such a beautiful day today, and I think it's amazing because guys please donate to the charity of the blind every week changes and I think this is brilliant for small uh, companies or um, businesses don't go to the big guys stay with the small guys no, uh, uh, but just please donate you can find the uh, donation button on the website on the page of Nadine or Life and Soul you've got the mountains or the mountain. So the mountain means don't make mountains out of molehills. Don't make an elephant out of a fly. You don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk the path. Everybody else does. You can see pathways there. Okay. So don't uh, don't be scared of uh, thresholds. Go step over the thresholds and just take your time, okay? Do it in your own time if need be. Healing moons. Uh, hi, uh, Georgie. That was Georgina. Um, I'll be fair, but I'm just a quick, uh, quick um, card. Uh, uh, healing moons. You've got the star. Your wish or goal is coming true. You've been navigating to where you want to go so your your hard work is going to pay off sharon you've got the mouse or mice in this deck it is only one mouse and that means you might have lost something or somebody might have taken something that doesn't belong to them but mice also gnaw so something might be gnawing at you don't let that mind go round and round and round ask people for help don't shy away to ask for help many hands make light work that is what i'm hearing Okay, it can be found. Ask people, have you seen that, that or that? I've lost that or that. Um, yes, you can have a reading. That was a little free card. And if you join me in uh, on Charlie's uh, Angels on YouTube, you can have a free card, more than one card uh, in the evening. And I can also ask question, uh, uh, answer questions uh, um, so long they are supported by no nations. And if you would like an extensive reading, then please, please uh, uh, go to my website. Um, somebody's, uh, thank you Nadine for another, oh sorry. Okay, great stuff. I don't know, I don't know when somebody's messaging me or whether it's Nadine reminding me of something. Okay, so if you would like to have free cards, then please pop in on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and feel free to see your weekly reading and your romance reading, which is once a month. Christine Flack, you've got the heart. The heart means you might be get, starting a new romance or you might be uh, partnering up in, in love or in business. You might actually be doing something new that you're passionate about. The Anchor Coaching Limited. Ooh, the, I hope the anchor comes out for you, the Anchor Coaching Limited. Um, but I have the child. You might be doing workshops or new, some, learning something new. You might find out you're pregnant or hearing of a birth or a new beginning. This could be a child, a job or anything but it's also don't be too serious be more playful okay be more playful let your inner child come out let your inner child come out now sharon richardson that we have sharon before facebook has been blocking me um so that is funny hold on uh yes i've had sharon before life and soul event raising money for the Royal Society, for the blind children. And yes, children are important. They're our next generation. And if they could have a dog, like also I really do, for the dog help dogs for the, the, the blind or for the handicapped. I love those charities. I really do. And I feel honored to be here. And thank you to all the beautiful people that have given their time to come in and share their talents and businesses and this is for i can't see them sorry hold on 
Molly Edwards. Molly Edwards, you've got the stalk. This means there will be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or a, with a, in or regarding a question. You might be moving home or you might be hearing of a birth. This could be of a baby or um, of a new project. Okay, let's have a look if there's any more uh, cards and that I can give away. Well, um, there's a lot of people here and it is really amazing. If you would like to have another card, um, I can certainly give you another card. So let's have a look if anybody is in here. I hope Vladimir is in here. Vladimir, if you were going to come in, I hope you can come in and see me and you can get your free card. Yes, my followers, I've been sharing uh, the, the um, the event and if you would like to have an other card I'll use an other deck and this one has cartomancy as well and I'll show you what I mean by that so Molly Edwards you have the coffin now this card is not 1d or 2d it is 3 or 4d you can see lots of things in here you can see the castle you can see um, graveyard you can see a high high rise there so you can uh, let your imagination go you can see the two owls there as well the coffin means obviously leaving the old behind and going into a new phase you've got the nine of diamonds the nine of diamonds is the nine of pentacles so you are leaving an old face going into a new face uh, you might have felt trapped and now you've got uh, the finances and the material goods or the knowledge to really know what you want and go for something new it will be a voluptuous luxury new beginning okay you can spread your wings that is the uh, card tomancy that's the normal playing card uh, side of this card and then you've got the um, Lenormand number and that is eight and eight means you are in your power and also your money house so money will be coming in towards you okay just move the chat a bit and then we have the anchor limit anchor coaching okay anchor coaching i don't know who you are but i would thank you very much for popping in and you've got the clouds now the clouds means obviously arguments disagreements but it is short-lived because the sun is breaking through it is back to front for me sorry um so the sun is coming in so it is the arguments are short-lived okay after rain comes sunshine and you've got the king of wands the king of clover is the king of wands so you might be meeting an aries because the king of wands is aries or represents aries that's the cartoon is cartomancy side of the things but don't exclude leo or sagittarius and you've got six you six you are in your balance you are back in balance but if you meet this king of fire any fire sign then know your boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are what you want and find out what they are because they are they stand for passion quick 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 but once you've stolen their heart they won't let you go so be careful don't burn get burnt okay fiona kelt fiona hi you've got the bear the bear is the ten of wands the ten of clover so that means you've had a heavy period you've had a heavy burden or you've had a rough period and you're going and it's nearly finishing don't give up now because the new beginning because 10 becomes one is just around the corner you've got number 15 you will be getting back in balance the bear means that somebody might be envious or jealous of you but you protect what is dear to you and uh, that means your family your home your friends whatever you are passionate about and that you love you might might get help from an institution with a situation um, that so don't uh, don't shy away ask for help from institutions or municipalities if need be you are as strong as a bear you can stand your ground they are so jealous of you that you are so strong that you can carry such a heavy burden uh, 
Caroline, you've got the house. The house means you might be buying a house or it could mean that you are feeling safe and sound and protected. Well, that can be good, especially at night when you're asleep, but come out of your house and, and go and mingle. Come out. Nobody's going to knock on your door. So come out of your comfort zone and go and mingle and be free. Go out into nature. You've got number four. That means product, um, stability, proper foundations, uh, productivity. Wow. So you are going to go um, in big ways. You've got the king of hearts right there no right there king of hearts that's the king of cups and that's the cancer but don't exclude scorpio or uh, pisces okay you might be buying a house or thinking of buying a house um or uh, you might be stuck in isolation so come out well 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 you can also go cyber like we are we are going out okay that was for you and you're all welcome fiona kellett and uh, fiona i thought i just gave you um a card darling uh yveta Dorpel. hi how are you if i haven't given you a card then please come back in the chat and um your veta you have the clouds that means after rain comes sunshine you've got the king of uh, clover right the king of clover so that is an aries or a leo or a sagittarius um, but mainly Aries, it represents Aries. So you might be meeting um, an, an Arian and uh, the arguments are short lived. You might even have an argument with a, a fire sign. You've got the six, so you are coming back into balance. Okay, now we're going to uh, life and soul. That is um, uh, Nadena. Uh, Cyan, Cyan, could I have a reading please? Yes, my darling, you can have a card. You're welcome, Fiona. Thank you for your beautiful reply. And Cyan, Owen, you have the man. You are the man's man. Ooh, or you could be meeting a man. Uh, or if you're not enough man, uh, masculine, if you're not manly enough, then this is a warning. Come on. Be strong, be masculine. You know you can be, be steadfast and be as strong as a man. Don't hide your beautiful strength, literally and figuratively. And you've also got the Ace of Hearts, okay? The Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Cups. So you might be uh, meeting a new love or you can be starting something new the ace means a new beginning this could be a, a new beginning with a man this could be with like i said the cards aren't racist or um, aren't um, uh, discriminating it could be a woman that's career oriented or career orientated that you might be meeting and it could be a water sign okay a cancer scorpio or a pisces um and uh so that is beautiful but remember um we all have the feminine and the masculine within us so you could make make a new friend a man a mate uh, if you like going to the football club with a man or in a group then that could be a new matey okay and then you've got number 28 which is 10 and 10 is an ending and new beginnings okay i know i'm sorry i'm going very very fast because i'm getting a and I'm live here and uh, trying to keep on track here as well. Uh, and um, it's Nadine sending messages to everybody else. And sometimes I get confused. Um, I'm doing I'm doing better than this morning anyway. You're welcome, Fiona. Nadine Stevens. Yes, you can, my darling. I thought I gave you a, key, a card already. Please play back after um, the life is finished. And you've got the stalks. There will be a 360 degrees turnaround in something. It could be in a situation or with regards to a question. You've got number 17 at the top, which is the lemon Lenamon number. And that means number eight. So power and powerhouse and money house. Money is going to come to you 
you and you are in your power. You have power. It also means moving home. This could be home or business. You might be expanding your business and it also means a birth. OK, a birth of a child or a new project and you have the Queen of Hearts. So that the Queen of Hearts is Scorpio. You might be meeting Scorpio or you might be doing something with a female Scorpio, like be a business partnership or something like that. But don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. So new beginnings. There you go, Nadine. Uh, you're welcome. Is there anybody that I have left out? And I can also use an other deck if you like. Let's go for an other deck. Um, I will use the Enchanted. So hold on. I'll just put them together. They fell on the ground whilst I was live. So um, then you can experience the different type of cards. Now I'll just leave them upside down, inside out. And then I will, these are really also one of my favorites besides my quirkiness. Uh, quirky, not my quirkiness, yeah, okay. But my quirky cards from Monica Bodersky. That, uh, those are my favorites beside the Enchanted at the moment. Okay, anybody would like another card, then please come back into the live session. Doesn't matter, don't apologize, Nadine. And you've got a second a card, and this is the scythe. This is the scythe, and you are cutting away from something and leaving it behind. Cutting the past away, making a new path, and you're harvesting. You've got number 10. Something is coming to an end and a new beginning. Uh, like, again, you had the stalk. So here again, confirmation, new beginning. You have the page of pentacles. So you will be receiving news, most probably, from a young person. This could be the Capricorn because Capricorn represents the pages. Okay, but don't exclude Taurus or Virgo. Taurus is the king and Virgo is the queen of pentacles. So that was the page of pentacles receiving news. This could be about a new job or um, a, a new contract in business. Something that has st um, um, a durability and that is for long term oh betty boop i love it i love it yes she's one of my favorites hi patty how are you and um, nice to see you yes of course you can have a card my darling and you've got the house and here this card really in the crystal ball i love this idea of the crystal ball number four proper foundations productivity stability but the house you could be buying a house you could rent a new house excuse me for my finger um i just can't hide it sorry i'm not a person to hide anything anyway i am what you see <clears throat> Here you can see that the door is open. I hope you can see it. It's ajar. So, you know, um, come out, but the gate is closed. So you are isolating. Um, the house means you might feel safe and secure, but it's no good isolating yourself. Get out into the fresh air and make new friends. Go and join a club and seek new friends. Now you've got the king of hearts here so the king of hearts i don't know whether you can see his crown it's very very small but that is cancer but don't ex mainly but don't exclude scorpio or pisces you might be meeting a man that is stands for love nurturing caring handsome sensuality and sexuality Ooh, yes nice 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 he always brings the bed it's not not the bed the bread back home okay and he makes life comfortable and secure okay lovely great great stuff nice news i like positive energy i know we can't all be uh positive but uh um because all our lives and energies goes up and down okay and vladimir hi how are you nice to see you and we've got somebody from holland i think 
and she saw me and she came in earlier vladimir you've got the book and you can see the locks on the book so there might be secrets or things that you don't know so seek knowledge uh, then i get sherlock holmes in my head so do research okay try to unlock the book and open get to know what is hidden it might also mean the book also means new studies perhaps a workshop or a study within work like an apprenticeship you've got the ten of pentacles that is the ten of diamonds so there is an ending to financial or material difficulties going into um a better face a new face which is luxurious this might mean uh, this might mean that you don't know that somebody's watching you because you might get a promotion or you might get a new job happy families lots of money perhaps an, an inheritance uh, or a winning of the scratch card a lottery ticket something like that and you've got 26 down here that's eight again money house and powerhouse you are in your power my darling okay i can see you i can see your name too darling shucky walker shucky walker yes you're sure that is basically what the lemon Le lenoron cartomancy and numerology all in one card you get so much in one card excuse me that's why my youtube readings per week are usually too long if i use the lenormand because i get three messages from one card shucky walker you have the lilies and the lilies mean uh good luck at work or good luck in business you might seek advice uh, from a professional this could be a doctor a bookkeeper an africa um, uh, the head of a school uh, somebody like that a mature man this could be your father figure or an uncle anybody a mature man that you respect okay you've got 30 so three that becomes a three that is creativity and you've got the king of swords so um you might seek Lee if you are in a judicial situation you might seek a, a professional advice from a lawyer okay the king of uh, um, clubs is the king of swords he will f uh, fight for you right until the end he will cut straight through to the core and he doesn't accept bs no way he wants the truth he seeks the truth he stands for wisdom he stands for communication he stands for justice he wants justice that's the air sign they stand for justice and honesty so there you are you the king of um clubs is a gemini but don't exclude libra or aries there you go my sweetie i hope that resonates with you <clears throat> and now we're going to let's have a look harry smith harry smith hi let me just move the chat guys and girls Thank you very much for being so beautiful with all your images and likes and please support the charity as much as you can because you know if a blind child gets a buddy a dog it's not only a pair of eyes but it's also a buddy and it's a dog means so much more and that's what it means to me she is our mascot from charlie's angel tarot and she's called millie and here we go harry this is your card you have the crossroads but it looks more like a bridge but there you are i see more things in one card it's crazy this is one of my favorite cards if you look very carefully then just that white line looks like the angel's wings okay and then you see the path you've got choices or decisions to make but i see angel wings there so the angels are with you if you find it difficult to uh, make a decision 
then give it over to the angels and ask the angels to help you. Don't have sleepless nights about it. You've got number nine. Three, six is nine. So an ending is in sight so long you take the decision or the choice. Otherwise, the angels and the divine will do it for you. That means you won't have that much power or say in it. So come into action. Get out of your mind. Do the thing. You know, listen to your gut feeling, your intuition. So then you have the power over the situation. So just ask for help. You've got the six of clubs. That's the six of wands. You have victory. It doesn't matter what you decide. You have victory anyway. You've got public recognition and recognition from family and friends in the community. You might be going on holiday or moving home. You've also moving onwards and upwards. There might be a promotion. People are seeing you for what you are and what you've done and how strong you are. So there might even be a promotion for you in, in the near future or now. <laughs> this week, yes. So I don't know, uh, Harry, Harry, what star sign you are, but that could be it for you, a promotion this week. And if you haven't got a job, then that means that people are noticing you and you might be getting a job offer, but come in action. <clears throat> don't sit behind the geraniums. So if anybody else is still here, and if you um, would like another card, the time is running out very rapidly. So just come back in and I will use my, my favorite quirky deck that I accompany with the shadow, the shadow lands, my favorite tarot. And this is called the House of Shadows. So please come in and let me know if you would like to have another card. Let me know if you would like an other card, anybody. And we've got eight, so we are in our power and money is coming towards us. Uh, um, August is changing rapidly. It's a very active and fiery energy. It is go, 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 go. So make sure you take time out and rest as well. Meditate and contemplate and evaluate your situation because otherwise you will get burnt out. Take time out. Okay, Vladimir, I see you in the chat. You've got the stalk. Now, this is totally different than the other cards, um, but it's quirky and it's got something else. Like the birth of a child, you need a doctor. If it is something with a judicial issue um, and you want it to turn around 360 degrees or you're buying a house because this also means moving home, then you've got the notary public or the real estate man. He's got his little suitcase there and I, or his lunchbox. I just love these cards. Okay, uh, Vladimir and uh, Cyan Owen, this is uh, also for you. The next card, okay, you've got the crossroads. Make your choice. Again, now this is the same card as in the other deck, the crossroads, okay? Um, make a decision. So it's confirming the first card, which doesn't often happen. So this is something very important that you have to do. Which road are you going to take, the high road or the low road? But you will always come back on the middle road, okay? It doesn't matter, like I said with the other card, it doesn't matter which uh, decision you take, uh, you will come back on your, not, no, uh, no decision is wrong, okay? But don't take uh, things in haste, but now it's time to make decisions. You're at the crossroads. Number 22, number four, um, proper foundations, and it's an angel number. 22 is an angel number. So the angels are with you, right? Uh, now, I don't know when I have to stop. Um, so I most probably will hear something go ping, ping, ping from Nadine. <clears throat> uh, move may be new job. Okay, Vladimir, thank you very much for the feedback. I really do like it when I do get f feedback. Well, good luck. Let me know. Let me know, please, in the live on YouTube, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And every week there are new Zodiac videos uh, for every Zodiac sign and also a general day-to-day, -day, every day in one week, in one video for everybody general. 
Okay. Now, if anybody else is still here and would like a card, let me know, please. I'm drink. I've got my pint glass. So please come back into the chat and let me know whether you would like another card. Life and soul, you can go as long as you like. Oh, really? Brilliant. Thank you, Nadine. Now you're going to get another card and you're going to get news. You've got the letter and something is coming to an end. Again, I think you have that as well, an end or a new beginning. Well, where there is an end, there is a new beginning because a two and a seven is a nine. And that means a letter means it could be. Um, well, nowadays we have to consider the new things as well. News could be coming through cyber, uh, email, text message or telephone call or by post could also be the old-fashioned way the airmail because we've got a bat airmail okay and i like going live uh, and especially everybody please donate money even if it's 50 cents every single bit comes to a big bit okay and Thank you very much, Vladimir. And you've come back in the chat and you've got the coffin, Vladimir. So you are in transition from leaving the old, going into the new. You might just want to get more information. This is, look at this guy or this woman. <laughs> She's studying, perhaps you've been studying or picking up a new course or doing a workshop, bringing you back into your power. So that means more money. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't think, I've got a feeling something is saying here, it's like my uh, aerials are working, she has promotion, she has promotion, she is fully fledged and she's no caterpillar, she is the butterfly, you can fly off and spread your wings, you've got all the information, boom, there you go. Uh, one warning though, if you're right, uh, if you, are, I'm seeing you writing contracts, I see you doing that with an ink pen. Um, a fountain pen, um, read the small print, read the small print, learn from the past. Perhaps that was the book, with the lady with the book, learn, because you learn information from the book. So learn from the past. That is also what I'm hearing, Vladimir. Fiona Kelt, this is your, uh, the scythe, your card, the scythe, cutting away from the past. You're finished with the past, done with the past. You're letting go of the past. You're ready. You are already on the path to new beginnings and you are going for it. You might even be the monster. People might be scared of you. Stand up for yourself. That is what it could mean as well. 10 is an end and a, uh, and a 10 becomes a 1 in numerology. So new beginnings for you as well, Fiona. Joseph Billard. Joseph Bellard. Hi and nice name. Joseph, St. Joseph. That is St. Joseph. Yes, that was Jesus' father, but he's also the uh, saint of for uh, protecting children and moving home like Archangel Metatron. You have the crossroads. You have an angel number 22. Speak of the devil. And there you are. The angels appear. You have crossroads. Come out of your head and make a decision. Have faith in yourself or trust yourself a little bit more as others trust you and have faith in you. So come on, get into action. There you go. I don't mean to sound harsh, but that is what you can do. Um, Okay, Nadine. Well, let me know if it uh, resonates with you. MA, MA facet, faucet, MA, that is like the perfume. And uh, I smell the lily of the valley. I don't know whether it uh, resonates with you. Um, I think that's what the soft flower or jasmine. I also hear jasmine. Um, and you've got the hand, the hand. You know, the you are mapping out your life you are planning things you are chart make a chart of your life if you haven't you have life in control you have your card your map under control and if not if not then get it under control you've got 39 39 becomes an 11 that's an angel number the angels are giving you a doorway to a new beginning step through that doorway okay and way and i hope it resonates with you okay 
Thank you for being here. Natin Medium. Ah, I thank you very much for doing me the honor of my colleague. I saw you this morning and you are a fascinating man. And uh, yes, I can work without the cards, but I work with the cards. I work with oil cards, lemon, tarot, the crystal ball, charms, you name it, the red and black book, um, the book of all answers for general and love purposes. They're all a bit of fun and my in I let my instincts and intuition go. You You've got the brooms. Yes, I think this is a very appropriate card for you, brooms and the witch. <laughs> we are called witches, although we are not. What is in a name? I nothing to me. You've got number 11, also the angel's doorway to new beginnings, and the brooms means arguments. Usually, you, usually you see the broom and whip uh, sweep away what is of no use to you, um, and it could be arguments, so be careful. Uh, walk away from other people's drama, you don't want to get involved, or just say, talk to the hand, and when you've calmed down, I will talk. Look, and this is what I love about this deck, look at this cat, he's got the broom, and she's got the brooms. <laughs> I love it, but you've got a black cat, so I'm going to say luck is on your side. And I've also got something you like to wear a lot of black. Um, uh, I don't know why, but black is also a beautiful color, very slimming, and you can dress it up or down. And I think that is why you basically choose black, because you can dress it up and down. And you do look dashing. I do love men with beards. <laughs> kiss for you, just because my dad had a beard, but it was lovely to see you. Okay, mating medium, and be blessed. And thank you for popping in. Thank you, Vladimir. Nadine Stevens, subscribe, Charlie's. Oh, thank you very much, Nadine. Uh, I've been, as much as I can, I have been uh, sharing all the um, videos and to all my colleagues that have been on the channel of Nadine Stevenson and I think a lot of people should do more with um, it won't go down why won't it go down Ooh, this is what's happening all the day Joseph Bellard thank you so much that really helps with how I am today I will remember to trust myself and others if you project that uh, Joseph if you like what I say to people is if you get a negative thought, thought in your, your, your head, it might, it, it, you know, negativity draws negativity. Positivity also draws positivity. Be the beacon. If a negative thought comes into your head, and I know one, some days are difficult, just say, thank you. I acknowledge you. And then that is the time to push the reset button into a positive thought. If you can't think of anything positive, then think of a positive moment you've had in the last day, in the last week, or your favorite time in your life, like a birth of a child or a marriage, something positive. So that is how you can reset your mind. And then you start feeling positive and also saying hi to somebody on the road or at the bus stop. You might just make somebody else's day. You never know what happens behind closed doors. That is what I do. And people say, I'm mad. They say, nobody usually gives me compliments. I said, well, I'm not everybody <laughs> and I'm not usual. <laughs> um, and Leslie Deal, uh, <clears throat> hi, and let's have a look what I can have. You've got the ring and look how that is depicted by Monica. She, the ring means partnerships in love or in business. But look, they are sitting on the diamond. They are the diamond in other words. Isn't that cute? 25, seven, luck in business and partnerships. Okay, Leslie, I hope that will come true for you and resonates. I wish all everybody good luck and safety and blessings. And thank you for taking time out to come into the life room. It is absolutely amazing. You can always join me in the live sessions on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I give away free cards and I also answer questions uh, that are donated by a super chat or a super 
sticker. And please, whilst I'm say talking about donations, please donate to this channel and to the course that this channel supports. Every week, I think, uh, this is the first time I've been on. I just saw it for the first time last week and I asked Nadine whether I could come on because I just love to give something for from myself. I've been in situations that weren't pleasant and I know what it means to have some recognition by uh, donating. Like I've, I've, right, I've got two rear pleasures, uh, no secrets. I've had a lot of pain and this, that and the other, but I'm getting my second chance now. So when you get a second chance, you have to give something back. That is showing the... Um, the cosmos and the divine and the angels uh, that you are thankful that is showing gratitude helping others well i've worked 22 years in the um, uh, health sector i was an auxiliary nurse and now i can't do it anymore and i had to find my own way i had to be really creative um to finding something to help others. And this is the talent that I have. And I it's an uh, uh, extended hobby now, and I would love to make it my business. But um, the way it is going now, just uh, getting recognition and uh, getting beautiful cyber angels, because we have a cyber tea room, the live sessions is the, the cyber tea room and the viewers are my cyber angels and I'm cyber mum. So I'm just going to go to, uh, let's have a look, uh, an other deck. I will show you the, the tarot deck. I know I said I would only do um, the Lenormand, but I just love to show you Monica Bodurski's The Shadowlands. They are woody. Yes, they're my favorites. They're absolutely and the enchanted dreams. If you like the quirkiness, uh, you can see so much more in these. Every author has its characteristics. The en on enchanted dream tarot by yes, uh, yes, mean Westwood is also fantastic. But this is my newest, but I, I've been waiting for these for six months really and now i've got them so i'm going to use them and nadine said i could stay as long as i like so if you would like to donate please 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 let the children know that you have thought of them and you've taken part in getting something extra research or a dog or uh, healing a day out i don't know it is the royal british um blind association that uh, is being supported today i'm living in holland but i've lived in um, england for 28 years and that was 25 years ago i moved back to holland where i was born uh, thank you very much life and soul and uh, now i'm going for life and soul and you've got the hanged man the hanged man is depicted by a bat and I think that's a brilliant idea. But you can't see his legs because when the legs, uh, when you have the traditional tarot, his legs are, uh, if you turn it around, it looks like a four. So I always say something might be delayed for four hours, four days, four weeks or four months. Well, we are more than four months into the COVID, but we did have a break for four weeks. It could be that. But the hanged man is a spiritual being. It is also a spiritual card. It means um, meditation, contemplation, and evaluation. So try to find, try to look at things from a different perspective as well. Wow! And you've got twelve, so that's three. Be creative. Okay. Now this chat is a bit slow. Okay, so if you're still here, you would like to have a tarot card, then please come in. Vladimir, are you still here, my darling? Yes, uh, well, I hope to see you. I would love to talk to you. Well, I'm glad you just got into contact with me um, uh, um, through Messenger. And I'm glad you found me and you can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter. I don't really like Twitter, so I don't really use it much, only to notify people. And of course, uh, Messenger. 
Okay, would anybody like to have a tarot card? Please let me know. Would you like to have a tarot card? Please come back in the chats. Let's have a look if this chat is moving. Vladimir, there you go. Yes, okay, my darling. And you've got the King of Pentacles, so everything you touch will turn to gold. Look at the diamonds growing out of his head. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> he must have a major headache. Anyway, <laughs> everything he touches turns to gold. He's got the Midas touch. Okay, the King of Pentacles is also Taurus. That's the that's the prominent uh, definition of the King of Pentacles. But don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn. So everything you touch will turn out positive. He makes sure that before he invests, that he's got all the investments, so that his investments have durability and are for long term, so that you will get um, money coming back from your investments for long term. Okay, now let's have a look. Um, Joseph, Joseph. Let's have a look what we can pick for you, my sweetie. And, ooh, yes, you've got a nice one, the Empress. The Empress. Isn't she gorgeous? And, and, you know, she's Mother Earth. She represents Mother Earth. And the Empress also stands for Libra. So you might be meeting a Libra or a Libra might be significant in your life. Okay. She, um, no, she stands for fertility. So at this moment, the ground or time is fertile for a birth or getting pregnant. If you were a lady, I would say if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. Well, I think it should also rule for the man. So if you don't want to get to become a father, then take precautions. OK, this could also mean that you could be hearing of a pregnancy, a birth, and a birth could be of a baby or a new beginning. This could be a job, a hobby, a relationship. You name it, you know what it resonates with. And she, all the seeds that she plants, she nurtures them. She makes them grow by giving water and food until they start uh, blossoming. And then she can harvest the fruit. She's a lot like the Empress and like the Queen of Pentacles, also known as Mother Earth. There you go. You've got number three. So be creative. Make sure that what you sow, that you know what you are sowing so that you know the results. Boom. There you go, Joseph. I hope that resonates with you. We've got more people coming in. Amazing. That's really nice. So if you would like a card, a free card, then please come into the chats. And I love the way people are so respectful on this channel. And that makes uh, the chats working together with the cards and the chat and the, uh, the psychic ability. It makes it really, really more enjoyable. And that is what we have in the tea room. But on YouTube, we do have moderators. And that is a helping hand in itself as well. So thank you. If any of my moderators are here, thank you very much. Uh, they are special people, or my cyber angels are special as well. So please come back in the chat and I'll give you a tarot card unless um, I'm going to. I am a typical Gemini, so I can chop and change. Um, so I do decide on the spur of the moment sometimes um, to do something else. So I'm going to change again. Uh, I'm going to give you... Um, um the chance what you would you like would you like to have a tarot card or would you like to have an other le uh, a tarot card or would you like to have an other lennon mum card and thank you very much to all the beautiful people uh, and my colleagues although i'm new here i've been watching them last week the the ones that were last week and um, I've watched a few of my colleagues, card readers, mediums, or however you want to describe them. I don't think, I just, uh, readers, I just call them he readers. Um, uh, I have a lot of respect for them. And, you know, um, thank you very much for being such beautiful people. And I admire you and your styles. There's some people that are, look beautiful and I don't know how they do it. I've done my hair, but it looks like nothing. 
<laughs> so yeah, well, that's me, Fiona. Okay, I'm still here. I'm sorry, I can't see you if uh, you don't come back in the chat, my sweetie. Thank you very much for coming back in the chat. Uh, yes, you can have a tarot card. I just uh, was shaking the cards and you've got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, that is, uh, could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio or a Pisces, but he's bringing you an offer. Okay, sorry. He's bringing you an offer. This could be love, but this could also be a wish. Where is it? That could also be a wish, the star. Okay, it could be also anything else but he is bringing you an offer but knights stand also for news this could be about something that you love or uh, a new love uh, could be a love letter or it could be about something that you're passionate and when you say passion, passion in a relationship in the sense of uh, a summer romance or whatever short-term romance but remember, if you want to make it last, talk, 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 communication, get to know each other um, and take it step by step. You can't run before you can walk. That is what I'm hearing for you, Fiona. OK, take it easy. Um, keep your emotions under control. Um, I'm also getting um, don't fall over. Uh, don't fall in love head over heels if you can help it. Keep your emotions under control. Don't let your heart rule your head in your head, your heart. Find a balance, okay? Find balance. If you are hooked up, I don't know whether you are or not, um, but if there is a, a water sign in your life that's significant, um, they, uh, they need you to stabilize a little bit. You are too soft. Don't let yourself be used either. Know your boundaries. Know your boundaries. Okay, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you. Now, uh, if the chat would move. Thank you very much for being here, Vladimir. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you, Papa. Take care, Moppet. Okay, so if anybody would like a uh, uh, MA, MA, you're welcome to have a tarot card, my darling. Okay, I'll take this because it flipped. Oh, you've got judgment. And in this deck, it's called discretion. Okay, I'm hearing be discreet. Be discreet. Now, um, this is number 20. You will be in balance or you are in balance but try to get a different uh, perspective on things try to have a different perspective on things okay use your wisdom use your sight don't focus on what is around, uh, right in front of you um, look at it like a helicopter view okay um, all around you and try to look at it from the top okay I know you can't fly, but this is metaphorically speaking. And this is the judgment card. So new beginnings in the traditional cards. It is Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel is now the owl. So use your wisdom. Um, he blows life into the rising dead. OK. So this card also means to me a second chance. So there might be a reconciliation. And um, now I don't have any other cards beside it, so I can't say what it is. But if it is with regards to a partnership or a relationship or a business partnership, it could be reconciled, a second chance. Okay, there you go. If, you're, if uh, a company has gone bankrupt, there could be a restart. That is how you could read it as well. Okay, MA, I hope that resonates with you. Okay, well, I'm going to close down now. I would love to thank Nadine for her kind, uh, uh, her kindness uh, to all of us to make this event possible. And uh, thank you very much for the time. 
and I do do love it uh, to have met all of you and to have been I feel honored that I I'm, I was allowed to work with such talented people in one big cyber fair I just feel at home because I'm I've got the cyber tea room and now I'm on the cyber fair fair for the first time thank you very much and give the thumbs up for the channel please share the channel as much as possible post it on your own uh, web pages media pages anywhere tell people about it mouth on mouth is stronger than advertising that is what they used to do in the olden days mouth by mouth okay and uh, you're welcome uh and may force it uh you're more than welcome join me in the life on youtube charlie's angel tarot okay i would love to see you there and uh please donate to the blind uh for the blind uh, the Royal, the British Royal Blind Association, please donate. The, we, uh, it's all for all kinds of blind people, but mainly for the kids. Let's give them something special in the summer as well. Perhaps a day out, who knows? Please, please, please share with family and friends. And I'm going to do this tomorrow night. I'm going to stick it in my life, in my description box. I'll ask Nadine for the address and the site. And I'm going to do that and they can donate their people themselves. And I hope to meet and uh, reach a lot of people. OK, thank you. Thank you in advance for donating, even if it's 50 cents. Thank you. Every little bit helps. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Be blessed. Stay safe and know that the angels are with you and the divine. And you are in my thoughts and my prayers and my healing sessions tonight. Amen. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye. And I will end this session like I end my lives on YouTube. So if it works, because I've been uh, told by Facebook that I'm blocked because I'm commenting too much on uh, uh, things. So I usually end with blowing a kiss and having the angel in the chat and um, that is my signature so take care my darlings and stay safe bye bye